best performance individual who do you think according to you were the strongest contenders for that title yeah well look, there were so many wasn't there i tried to narrow it down to a few anyway obviously max mm. uh, glenn maxwell uh, would be fresh in everyone's mind just recently with his 200 uh, then there was Mohammed Rizwan chasing a score of um, 345 in Hyderabad against, South Af against Sri Lanka. Um, I had Madhushanka taking five wickets mm. against the leaders, India. That was a wonderful effort. Um, and Mohammed Shami also five wickets in five overs. An incredible performance in that particular game against Sri Lanka. So those were the, my... my, my my three plus I, I put Motoshanka as well in mm. there so I have narrowed it down to a one to the winner and that would have been the, um, Glenn Maxwell <laughs> for Australia in that mm. wonderful chase yeah that most of us would agree was probably the greatest innings we've seen. Mm. Dav I know you had a hard time picking these out because there were quite a few exemplary performances for this particular category especially yeah that's right mm. the, there was a lot more too you could you could argue the but I just thought that, um, you know, these came to my mind. Um, Motoshanka as well, who was, you know, playing in a team that was second last on the, on the mm. table. And yet he was the second highest wicket taker mm. as we stand now with 21 wickets. So there was more of those as well that we could have um, put in there. But for me, I think I've got the right man. <laughs> Okay, all right, let's move over to the next category, which is best team performance. And yeah. let's see who you've picked out for this category. That's right. Well, there's mm -hmm. three contenders here. Um, the Afghanistan win against Pakistan when they were chasing a, a mammoth score yep. um, of uh, 286. Mm -hmm. uh, and they only lost two wickets getting that. So that, that was worthy of uh, being a contender. Um, India's um, win over Sri Lanka with a 302 run victory, an incredible, incredible um, yeah. difference between the two teams, similar to the Asia Cup final. Mm -hmm. uh, and then New Zealand, the very first game that we saw um, in Ahmedabad when they opened this tournament, uh, New Zealand beating um, England with by nine wickets. And that mm. was the start of what we saw a young kid called Rachin Ravindra. Yeah. Um, that was also worthy, I think, from a team perspective. Mm. Um, but when I reflect on the 45 games, there are certain teams that you think, oh yeah, anyway, they're supposed to win. And they do it well, like India. Mm -hmm. New Zealand at the time was their first game, not sure. But to me, Afghanistan has been the team that's really um, taken giant strides into becoming you know, a force to be reckoned with in the future. Mm. In this particular game, pressure was on, chasing a score under lights at um, Chennai. To win with eight wickets, chasing a 280 odd, <laughs> that got my vote. They have been giant killers, at least in a couple of those instances. That brings us to our next category, which is the biggest upset of the tournament. Who do you have here? Yeah, well, um, when you're talking upsets, you're talking about teams that are really low down the bottom of the table and surprising everybody yeah. and winning. So that sort of narrows the field a little bit. <laughs> um, and you can see Netherlands, Afghanistan, Bangladesh, the three that I was looking at. Um, certainly the win over South Africa mm -hmm. uh, at Dharamshala was uh, worthy of mentioning. Uh, Afghanistan against England, you could see the reaction of those Afghanistanis when they actually got the last wicket. Yeah. It was like you know, never in their wildest dreams they thought they'd beat England, but they did. That's worthy of a, of a contender. And then also Bangladesh's win over Sri Lanka, that was that infamous mm. timed out That's game. That's a peculiar choice there. Yeah, they were, mm. you know, they were down and out. And so was Sri Lanka. But it was a little bit of a, a surprise to me. I thought Sri Lanka with a little bit more experience could have got the game in there but they they didn't and mm -hmm. it was Bangladesh's game that they won so those are the three anyway that I was looking at Isha and I am going to place Netherlands win against South Africa as my number one okay uh, like we already consider Afghanistan now in the big leagues as we were discussing a couple of days back ago yeah. uh, Dav if you do pick out Netherlands as the winners in this category yeah. one would perhaps uh, infer that Netherlands still have uh, a bit of a way to go before they can come into the 
uh, you yeah. know, the, the big leagues that we talk about in yeah. which even Afghanistan now features. That's right. So whenever Netherlands wins, we, we can consider that an upset. Mm. But in Afghanistan's case, maybe the very first win we might have thought, oh, gee, that's a, you know, that's a bit of an upset. <laughs> but as the tournament progressed, I think we'll all agree that they were not upsetting anyone yeah. when they win. Uh, but Netherlands definitely has a bit more of a you know, way to go before they can enter that level of, uh, mm. you know, of, of uh, good judges, you know, thinking, well, that's not an upset anymore. Mm.